Hello guys, welcome to Linux Out. In this video, I want to show you how to reset your password in Linux if you don't know your current password. This method works on Ubuntu, Linux Mint, OpenSUSE, Earth of Fedora and common Arch distributions. So I would say, let's start. At first, I restart my computer. We have to access our grub bootloader. For that, I'm restarting the computer and you have to press whether the shift key or the escape key to get into this grub menu. This menu looks like this. We don't want to press enter now. We have to press the E key to enter the edit mode of this start procedure. I scroll down with my arrow key because we have to search one of the last lines which starts with Linux and then slash boot slash VM Linux and then with some numbers, some UUIDs and we head forward to the RO flag which we will change to the RW flag which stands for read and write. Also we add into the end init equals slash bin slash bash. You have to write it exactly like this. If you had done this, then you can press F10 to boot. Otherwise, you can also press Ctrl X. If this doesn't work and you get a blank screen, then try it with the parameters RW and instead of init equals bin bash, you type in single. And after that, you can press F10 or Ctrl X. In my case, which is Linux Mint, the second case worked out and I am in this rescue mode. To enter the rescue mode and the maintenance mode, I now have to press the enter key. After this, we detect a command line for our root user. We have to type in following commands. The first command is mount minus N minus O remount comma RW and then slash like this. You have some spaces between mount and minus N between minus N and minus O remount comma RW is written without any spaces and after RW you have one more space and after that you have the slash. Now we can press enter and after that we now have to find out the username of our Linux system. You can find out it by typing in ls space slash home. Enter and then we see in my case it is called Jean. So I type in pass wd space and then exactly the username which is always written in lowercase letters as you see here. So I type in this like this, press enter and now I can define a new password. My recommendation is, especially if you have a non-English keyboard, to keep on a very simple password. You can change your password later again in the normal password settings menu. But for this, I personally recommend you to choose a very simple password to get back into your computer in my case, I type in 1234, 1234, press the enter key and I retype 1234, 1234 and press enter again. Then we see password updated successfully. Then we can type in sync, enter and after that we can type in reboot space minus F and I press enter and our computer is restarting now. We don't have to change anything here. We can just press enter and start up our Linux system just like normal. After that, I'm typing now my new password, which is 12341234. We see it here, perfect. And then I press enter. If you have done everything correct, then you are now back again into your Linux machine. To change your password regularly, you can rather search in the menu for password, but we need to do this in the account details in this case. Then you can see here your password and you can 
set your new password. Otherwise, you can also do this in your terminal. It is completely irrelevant which Linux distribution you are on. And you can type in passwd and then you can type in your current password, which is in my case, the very easy one, 1234, 1234. And now you can define a new password and press enter, re-enter the new password and press enter again. And then you see password updated successfully. Now you learned how to reset your password of your Linux machine if you have forgotten it and also how to change it regularly. If you don't want that anyone can get into your computer such quickly, then you have to enable the encryption of your Linux system. How you can do this? I made a video about this. It's very easy and you can create an encrypted partition afterwards. I will link it to you in the video description. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. On Linux Art, you get new Linux videos every week. So make sure to don't miss them and see you in the next one. Bye.